I'm Maisie and today I'm going to talk about the lithium charges. First I will show you some experiments and then I, I, I will try to explain the reasons behind it. Please join me for the rest of this video. Okay, for the first experiment we just need two balloons. Very simple. As you can see, when I close these two balloons to each other, nothing happens. They're just standing next to each other. They're not attracting, they're not repelling, nothing happens. Okay, you see. Now let's see what happens when I rub both of them to my hair. Let's try. Let's see if both sides of the bubble and both of them. Should be enough. Now, as you can see, when I try to close them, they're repelling each other, they don't like it, each other anymore. You see? Okay. So, something has happened here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. For the second experiment, we need a balloon and an empty soda can. Okay, let's put the soda can here, and you see, when I close the balloon to the soda can, nothing happens. Okay, now let's rub it to my hair. I'm trying to rub all sides of the balloon to my hair, so that whatever is happening to one side, happens to the other side too. Okay. Now, you can see Okay And again Hello It's a kind of sort of thing so they can't each other Okay, let, let's do it again In this experiment, you saw that how I can roll the soda can using a balloon, which is rubbed onto my hair. Let's see the next experiment, and then I will explain the reasons behind this. In our last, last experiment, we need our favorite balloon and a tap of water. Okay? We have a thin stream of water, and as you can see, when I close this balloon to the stream of water, Nothing happens. See? Okay. Now I will rub the balloon to my hair. And I want to see what happens when I close the balloon to the stream again. Okay. Now you see? As you can see, whenever I close the balloon to the stream of water, uh, it attracts it toward itself. You can see that I can change the path of water using this balloon. Um, I can even play with it, you see? Okay, now that we have seen these three experiments, let's see the reason behind them. Now let's investigate the three experiments that we saw together. The reason of all these happenings was electric charges which have two types of positive and negative. Naturally, all objects have equal number of both charges, and in this case we call them neutral. For example, at the beginning of experiment 1, we started with two neutral balloons. Let's revisit what happened in this experiment. I started with rubbing the balloon on my hair, when I was doing so, my hair strands were attracted to the balloon. The reason is that because of the friction between the balloon and my hair, 
some of the negative charges moved from my hair to the balloon. So the bl balloon had negative charges where my hair had positive charges. And we saw that they're attracted to each other. Let's think what we can conclude from this observation. Yes, the opposite charges attract each other. But continuing the experiment, we saw that when I rubbed both balloons to my hair and I tried to close them, they repelled each other. Let's explain the reason using this picture. As you see, both balloons have gained negative charges from my hair and the result was a repulsion. So we can conclude that like charges repel each other. Okay? So the result of experiment one was that opposite charges attract each other each other and like charges repel each other. Okay? Now let's go to the second experiment. We saw that when we closed a neutral balloon to the soda can, nothing happened. But when I rubbed the balloon on my hair, by closing it to the soda can, I, I could roll it throughout the balloon, right? You remember it. Let's see what's going on here. As you see in this picture, by closing this balloon to the soda can, the negative charges of balloon push the negative charge of soda can to the farthest side of the can. So the closed side of can to the balloon just has the positive charges. And these positive charges on the can are attracted to the negative charges of balloon. So, when I move the balloon, soda can runs after it. Remember? You see, it's really cool when you understand what's going on, right? Okay, now let's go to the third experiment. First, I will remind, remind you what happened and then see if you can explain it by yourself. Ready? Okay, at the first step, we had a neutral balloon and we closed it to the stream of water, but nothing happened. The same as previous experiments. But when I dropped the balloon on my hair, it attracted the stream of water. Now, think for a few seconds and try to come up with a reason similar to what I explained in the previous experiments. Okay? Okay, let's see the reason together. Again, by rubbing a balloon on my hair, it gets negative charges. And when I close it to the stream of water, it pushes the negative charges away. And the closed side of water to the balloon has positive charges. So, the stream of water follows the movement of the balloon. See? It's very simple. Okay, in this video, we investigated three experiments and learned about electric charges. Now, I want to ask you a question. How can you make your hair fly up and separate like the kid in this picture? Think, and th think at home and try to come up with a reason. And discuss it together.